Oh, oh dear. Three riders down. One of which is the Movistar rider Fran Ventoso. He was their sprint option, and he looks hurt as a Spaniard. In fact, two or three in the ditch there. One well, of the bikes is down. Francis De Jure rider as well, as well as a man from Orica Green Edge. Ventoso, unfortunately, really does look hurt. This is how it happened. Oh, Ventoso. Oh, He's lost control completely. It looked like his chain came off and it just threw him across the road and there was absolutely nothing that the other guys can do and it looked like the forks and the front wheel from one of the bikes has just gone oh he's he's not going to be coming back from that one i don't think he's going to be sore fran ventoso just completely losing control by no fault of his own they were starting to go pretty quick there as well fast section of road you really do not on that carbon oh, oh here we oh. go plenty down and some hurting Another of the Movistar riders down. We've seen Fran Ventosa earlier on. Dowsett, was it? Alex Dowsett. Dowsett's there. Paulini's Paulini. down. Problems as well for the uh, Russian champion, Isaychev. Yes. There is Alex Dowsett. I can only imagine that this was fairly high uh, up the front of the peloton. Paulini and another Sky rider down and he's not moving. They're not having a good day. They are not having a good day. Number five is Christian Corum. Now, the Sky Rider down there. Sutton. CJ Sutton, I think, who's down. Oh, when he's really hurt, is Sutton. That's another one that will not be restarting, I don't think. So we've already had Ian Sander go off the hospital. There's Nicky Sorensen involved uh, as well. That's been a big one. I wonder if we can get an aerial shot of it as well, because a couple of Francais de Jure riders involved. They're going to get to oh, that point. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. A few down right towards the back. Yet again, it's Sky. Yet again, it's Thomas. Paul Voss for the second time today. Greipel is and down. And Greipel has gone. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Large hitting back. Count Greipel out now. Thomas has gone as well. And is that Tyler Farrar? Yes, it is. It is. Well. Unbelievable. To get Here that we go. far into the race. So Lotto won't be riding now. And it is just innocuous. Right in the middle of the peloton. Unbelievable. Somebody sleeping somehow, and that happens. And for Garrett Thomas, well, he cannot stay on his bike at the minute. Two Netap Endura riders. Netap riders are Daniel Sean and Paul Voss. Sean on the right hand side, Voss on the left. There's Thomas on the top right and screen. That was one hell of a battle there. But here we go, Rob, talk us through the sprint. Well, we've got Lamprey leading out. Kristoff it is, who takes it up with Hushoft. Oh, and we could see the uh, Astana rider there who went over the wheel to start with. Who's it Sagan. Sagan goes, he takes it up with Degenkolb. It was Degenkolb there with Demar. Bowen him right at the bottom of your shot. Bowen well. just on the left-hand side of the shot, but Degenkolb there all the way with Demar on his wheel. Sagan, it was possible within the last, well, the last kilometer really if they start playing up and playing cat and mouse any earlier than that then as we can see that the peloton really are starting to ride now it changes things a little bit because you've lost gripel you've lost farah that's it it did the onus now oh, no, goes Bonin gets a lot more yeah, interested. you think oh I've, I've got a bit more of a chance now here we go 22 seconds Quick step suddenly getting involved, suddenly getting interested. They had their train together, everybody's fit and healthy. And look at that, they have Bonham, but yes, they also have Nico Maas, they have other riders, they have Ilio Kesa, Stegman, Trentin as well. It's not just a one-man option. No, no, they do have options, which again creates a little bit of a problem. Which ones do you put on the front and which ones ride? Lotto, they're still riding hard, so are they going for their other options? Galapin. 21 seconds with 4.3 kilometers to go. It's exciting. This is a brilliant finish to get Bevel again. Three riders out the first look around there from Stein de Volder, perhaps saying we need to keep going because the gap is down to 20 seconds from around 36 is the biggest one they had. Well, we're on the smaller, slightly narrower roads, twisting and turning, so, so they're going to be out of sight for quite a lot of the time now. And, uh, and it is true, out of sight, out of mind. 19 seconds, 4 Ks to go now. De Volder at the back in his Belgian national champions jersey. 
Peloton is getting more and more restless. 17, 16 seconds. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. It really is coming down now. This is a great job being done. I would say that one man who's going to benefit is Pedro Sagan. His team hasn't done too much work. No, They've thanks. got a man on the front now. There's Velitz who peels off. He's done a big, big turn for the last 15 Ks. Yep, his job's done. But yeah, Cannondale, they haven't done much at all. Van Kerspulk now on the front for Onega Farmer quick step. BMC on the left hand side. Belkin as well involved as well. Giant Shimano. Let's not forget about John Degen Corbin nor Alexander Kristoff too, on the right hand side. Remember, winner of Milan San Remo. There are so many options in here. And with 12 seconds, three kilometers to go, it's hard to make the call. Because this certainly isn't your, your clan. Well, it isn't now because we've lost we've lost the big, big sprinters. This is more of a slog with the, with the amount of kilometers and the, and the tough roads that we've had. This isn't a classic flat day sprint finish. So it, this is so open at the moment. And you can see it. They're hunting, they're gaining 10 seconds now, three Ks to go for the peloton. You have to fear and feel for De Volder, Amador and Delia. It's been a superb concerted effort and it's been the exciting part of the race today. Two and a half kilometers to go, Stein De Volder with a renewed effort. Everybody working together once again. Delia just behind him. This is what's chasing on behind. We've had so many crashes today, so many nasty ones as well. Such unfortunate incidents, the biggest one involving Andre Greipel at the end after the job had previously done perfect. Two kilometers to go. Still the gap holds. De Volder is in front. Dillier is there. Amador is with him. Dillier tiring, surely. This is at the point where they're going to start to look at each other, I'm sure, and go, you know what? I'm going to have to miss a turn here, I'm sorry, because I'm just... <laughs> there's, there's no way they want to ride all the way in and then just just, just let their, uh, their breakaway uh, mates get across the line in front of them. There's no way they're going to want to ride them. They're going to have to start playing cat and mouse in a minute, but they can't afford to. This is the trouble. They're caught between a rock and a hard place. Well, they're attempting, they're attempting, but I'm afraid not today is going to be the message. A mega former quick step on mass. Look at that, though, from Stein de Volde. He will not give up. Giant Shimano coming to the front as well. And look, Tor Hussoft. Hussoft's there, menacing. It is so Christoph, open. Christoph, is that Christoph there with him? Christoph just on his Giant wheel, Giant Shimano, fact. they're all there. One kilometre to go through the Flam Rouge. The break has gone, and it's going to be a sprint. Amador attempts to take a flyer into the final kilometer, but De Volder and Dillier have gone. And here is Peter Sagan on the left hand side. Don't count anybody out yet. Sagan, look out for him. Winner 12 months ago, winner two days ago. And here he is, third wheel, perfectly positioned. Lampre as well, remember, Sacha Modolo. Here we go into the final few hundred meters, five and a half hours of racing. Daniele Benati in the yellow in the middle as well there. All ready for the sprint to be launched out with a crash. A couple taken out at the back. Oh, more have gone down. They're all over the place. Buzic is down, but here comes the sprint. It's Christoph through the middle. Christoph on the right hand side in the red. Sagan is coming on the left though. And look out for Degenkolb. Demar behind him. It's Degenkolb at the minute. Degenkolb, Demar. It is John Degenkolb. Wow. Breathless stuff all the way to the line. Giant Shimano got involved. Unfortunately, we had crash after crash after crash. So much so that it almost distracted us from the main event. Uh, it looks like the Australian Zach Dempster again going over the wheel in front of him, taking everybody else with him by the looks of it. John Degenkolb has been so unlucky recently, but here he is. He's the winner for the first time since he crossed the line. In the middle as well there, all ready for the sprint to be launched out with a crash. A couple taken out at the back. Oh, more have gone down. They're all over the place. Buzic is down, but here comes the sprint. It's Christoph through the middle. Christoph on the right hand side in the red. Sagan is coming on the left, though. And look out for Degenkolb. Demar behind. 